Hi, it's Adam the Hip Nerd, and today's show and tell is... This end table. This is some beautiful cherry wood from a local lumber yard. I chopped the plank up, jointed it, and glued it up into this board. I did some post glue up sanding. I used a belt sander on the bottom where there was some dried glue and also some minor leveling issues. Then I mounted the board in the middle of the Maslow, hung the sled, zeroed the machine, loaded the cut file, and let her rip. As you can hear, the Maslow was struggling and not cutting smoothly, which is something I should not have ignored. Well, that was crazy. I guess I had my depth of cut and my feed rate too high. It was shaking a lot, but I didn't think it was a problem. But on the last pass, it shook so much that the set screw for this shaft came out and the belt in this fell off and uh, yeah fortunately it didn't really damage the uh, piece um, there's a there's a bit of chatter in here uh, but I can smooth that out pretty easily it won't be noticeable but holy cow that was that was a bit much so now I gotta fix this also in my panic uh, to stop the machine I accidentally hit the define home button uh, instead of the stop button which is in my opinion way too close <laughs> so uh, I, I reset the home position which is not good but I can probably zero that um, pretty well but yeah that really kinda that blows I gotta get the belt back on and reattach this pulley in the shaft and re-zero the machine I guess I should redo the um, the tool path and uh, set the feed rate a lot slower and set the cut depth a lot lower alright fun times now that's smoother all right, so this is done. The CNC part. Um, not everything came out perfectly. I'm gonna have to do some manual cleanup. Using a combination of sanding and routing with my rotary tool, I cleaned up the pocket cuts. Then I rounded the top edge using a router with a roundover bit. As a color test, I took a scrap piece of cherry wood and drilled some cylindrical pockets in it using a Forstner bit. Then I poured epoxy into the pockets, increasing the concentration of pigment in each one. 
I cleaned all the sawdust and sandpaper grit off, then I put a coat of clear epoxy on to seal up any small cracks. I mixed up a batch of epoxy with the right amount of orange pigment, determined from my test. You know, these cheap condiment dispensers are great for pouring controlled amounts of epoxy in small spaces. I cleaned up the mess, and then I put duct tape on the top of the dispenser after that. There's always a lot of sanding, and the spill didn't seem to make it take any longer than otherwise. I started with 80 grit to level everything and remove all the excess epoxy. Then I progressed to 100, 120, 220, 320, and then hand sanded with 400 grit. I wiped off the dust, and I could already see how nice this is going to look. I applied some Danish oil finish to the bottom, then I put some finish on the top, then a few coats of clear satin lacquer. Finally, I attached these nice hairpin legs I got from a supplier on Etsy. Thanks for watching.